Whoa, are we underwater? Something about this place seems familiar. <laughs> you should remember it. You had a hand making it sink. Wait a minute. Is this the Luna Sea Spire? That's a Luna now. What is up, my spirits and women? What's all my friends out there? My name is Nathan Y6, and welcome back to Steven Universe Attack the Light. Last time, we had a run in with uh, a giant. What was it? A giant turtle? And even uh, encountered Alexandrite for the very first time. In this one, we're going to continue through the Lunar Sea Spire. And face that tiny blue whale and some jellyfish, apparently. <laughs> now, if I'm being honest, I do not remember what necessarily Causes you to be able to use Alex. Oh, all the way star points. Dup. I'm an idiot. But you also need to have enough harmony between everyone. So you definitely want to watch out for that. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Basically, you don't want to uh, attack it uh, physically when it has those spikes. Because otherwise, they hurt. So, the Lunar Sea Spire, for those who don't know, was accidentally sunk by Stephen when he grabbed the wrong item. He was supposed to grab the Lunar uh, Statue, I think is what it's called. But instead, he grabbed whatever that weird sickly toy is, I don't know. Hey guys, he mainly uh, came along to that particular adventure to help uh, Contain the sea spire, or keep it up, or something. I don't know. But instead, he accidentally sunk it. But thankfully, it seems we still have access to it here, as this is the only time we'll ever access the lunar sea spire outside of the show. Because otherwise, it's nowhere to be found. Up, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's why you don't want to attack them whenever they have to spice out. I don't think I ever showed off the bubble oh, ability yet. Worry. It's basically just a shield. Then again, big surprise, a bubble shield being a shield. <laughs> it's like, the floor here is made of floor. Six hit combo. I think that's essentially like an upgraded version of Garnet's standard attack. Jelly was actually kind of remind me of the time when the... Okay, so there was this one time when me and my family were on vacation. It was the same location as the usual as Emerald Dial. Uh, one time, me and uh, my sister's friend were in the uh, beach water. We saw something floating. At first, I thought it was a weird seashell. She pointed out it was a jellyfish. We screamed and ran back to the surf. 
<laughs> it was such a funny and stupid thing. I don't even know why the fic there was a freaking chili for something. I don't even remember what the reason was. Frick! <laughs> but in any case, it was such a weird little memory that's just forever in my mind anytime I see a chili fish for some reason. Is that I wish I could explain why it happened. Oh, I don't think I ever actually showed up the level of charm, so let's go to Steven. Basically, it's like a uh, rare candy in Pokemon. Brilliant. How about item? I choose you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it on everyone here. Excellent. This seems like the right choice. Hey, all right. What do you know? Oh, Spinball. That's weird. I guess when we only attack. Oh, we all. Huh, I guess we got everything here. That was quick. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Usually it takes us way longer for that. Alright, pull it together. Did you guys know I actually had a pet a, a couple of pet goldfish in the past? Um I think it was before I even had a YouTube channel, I forget. I think it was, maybe. Actually, yeah, because I, I don't remember. But anyway, um, I think I had three pet goldfish. The very first one was the standard goldfish from Walmart. It died the day I got it. <laughs> Did not even last the full 24 hours. Yeah, I think you might want to steer clear of any uh, fish from uh, Walmart like that. And for some reason, my child like mine at the time Named it Mew. I'm not joking. So the next time we uh, went to like this local pet store. I think it's more like a local fish store. I don't know. But pretty much what we did, we went to this uh, one place in uh, town. And we got a beta fish. And for a while I've actually been like... I was like... I kept one like a second fish to go along with it, but with be the thing with beta fish is that you don't want to have two of them in the same tank because they actually fight each other. I didn't believe it, but I just kind of went along with it, you know? I didn't know if that was an actual thing until my sister got some beta fish to go alongside uh, Snuggles, her cat. She got two beta fish. One of them literally ate the other. I am not joking. That poor fish barely survived after that. <laughs> uh. But yeah, um, well, the fact that the, my second fish was uh, shortly after my first, I named it Mewtwo for some reason. And the third one was actually, I remember the third one also being a beta fish, but I do not remember what I named it for the life of me. I don't remember if I did something stupid like Mew 3 or whatever, but whatever it was, it was, I think I named it like something better or something. I, I don't remember. It was a long time ago by this point. Oh, hey, look, it's Blue Patrick's. And I can confirm that's an actual thing because that actually happened in the movie! Yeah. 
Sorry about being quiet most of the time. For one thing, I am uh, trying to concentrate. Another thing is that I always forget to actually prepare some things for me to talk about in these videos. Like some standard stories, some stuff that actually happened. I don't know. I always seem to forget to do that for some reason. But it's something I've noticed within the past few videos, both in Splatoon 2 and this one. There are moments that are just flat out silence, you know? Like, I don't talk as much as I used to. Back in like, back when I had like Five Nights at Freddy's and whatnot. I don't know. Okay. To be all that concerned, I probably could have been able to cancel this Let's Play too, but I wanted to do all the Steven Universe games at one point anyway. Oh, for pity's sake, stop giving me enemies! This calls for. Oh wait, I only just realized these are new enemies. They basically ram into you for some reason. In any case, I think I'm just gonna Jay. heal everyone up and use Alexandra again. I know it's better to use these than bosses, but... I never noticed a tear in Steven's eye for that. <laughs> we turned those things to dust! <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, that explains one of the things. Go and get this. Look, I think that basically makes it to where like you can poison the enemies that you hit or something. And I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and have a look here. Oh, hmm. Let's. Wow, that was so cool. Go ahead and head onward. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some extra videos um, after I do the finale, showing all the other. Oh, this place is ready for our bad selves. So, occasionally, all the uh, extra locations and whatnot, as well as getting 100%. Okay. Moonstar. What is that? Hexagon? Okay, Moonstar Hexagon. Oh, we got another light. It's the yellow light. Another one of these guys. Nice. Steven, you just do your prison thing. Up, oh, it's running away. Hey, you ran off. Come back, little guy. Gems, let's move. Bah. Awesome. 
Did she just say it normally? Because I know Amethyst says... How does she say it? Cowabunga? Well, I think she's... I think... Cowabunga is how it's normally says. I think she says it... I don't know. Oh! Hmm. Oh, it's also a support enemy. God dang it, that's awful. So it's this one in a chair, girl says in the uh, turning red. Let's burn this place to the ground! I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I actually really enjoyed turning red when I watched it. I mean, yeah, people are allowed to have their own opinions, but it's really not that bad of a movie, actually. It's like, it's hilarious, especially with that freaking Awooga! point, you know? <laughs> like, I really liked it, honestly. Here we go! Oh, hmm. And get the defense song. And oh, hmm. Moon. Star. Aha! <laughs> Perfect. There it is again. Yo, my your chicken one. What the heck? Did you just speak? Stephen, hurry before it gets away again! Wait, I think it's trying to communicate! Stephen, now! Okay, here goes. I'm sorry, but when I see Stephen holding up the uh, prism, for some reason I can't help but think of uh, one of Shantae's poses in, in the uh, Shantae and the Pirates Curse. I only got three of these things. Let me check the map. Oh, I didn't go down this way. Ooh. I'll grab the red gemstone at least, but I'm not going to have enough of that bat. No! I'm going to go ahead and exit through this particular uh, portal, alright guys? So, thank you awesome, but for watching, if this one particular helps, and next time on Steven Universe Attack the Light, we'll head forward into the Luna Caverns. Or ta Luna, is it Luna Taverns or ta I don't remember. The Luna Sea Spy, I think is what it's called. And uh, kind of see what lies in store for us, especially after capturing the yellow light. Especially with the fact that apparently we only have two lights to capture again, so. Next time on Steven Universe Attack the Light, we'll see what's... I know I always said that. So, I'm at NDC if I make these awkward. Do me a favor, stay fresh and stay safe!